Hello and welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I will show you how you can program your STM8S103 microcontroller using this development board with the Arduino IDE. <coughs> so as you can see here, I have already connected the development board with the ST-Link V2 and I am about to show you how you can upload a Blink program to this development board. Before we dive deep in, I want to show you the previous tutorial that we have made so that you can understand the board layout and other stuff. So previously we have seen how to program this board with the Cosmic C compiler and the STVD which stands for ST Visual Development uh, which is the uh, native ID provided by ST Microelectronics itself. So this is the a proper approach the, which is provided by ST Microelectronics, the manufacturer of the chip itself. But if you want to jumpstart and uh, uh, get into projects quickly, you can also consider the Arduino options. So this is the internal circuit diagram of the board. So the circuit diagram on this board is shown over here. As you can see, we have a test LED connected to port number PB5. Uh, so this is the LED that we will be blinking. Apart from that, we have a regulator and uh, few other power LEDs and all those so if you take a look at the board you will also see a test LED located over here and the regulator and the other stuff is located on the back side of the board. Now uh, programming this with the Arduino ID is very very easy just launch your Arduino ID. The complete explanation on how to do this can be found at the link given in the description of this video. I'm just quickly running you through the process. So first get into file preferences and make sure you have pasted this link over here. You can find this link in the description again. And once you have done that, go to tools, boards, board manager and here, wait for it to load and here you can search SDUNO. Yes, do you know? So as you can see, this is SGNOS and STM8 plain C core uh, by Michael Mayer. So I have already installed this. Make sure you have also installed it. Once you have installed, just close it. And if you go back to tools and boards, you will see many other board options under the STM8 section. also possible to program the STM8S microcontroller with the same STM8S 103F3. So the only difference is that the STM8S 003 microcontroller will have low pin count, uh, sorry, will have low flash memory compared to the 103F3. Now that being said, I have a very simple blink sketch over here. So this blink sketch is the one that's common for every, uh, that's common for every Arduino board. Now uh, the circuit diagram to connect your ST-Link V2 with your uh, with your development board can be found here. So this is how I have connected the ST-Link V2. If you take a closer look at the ST-Link V2 board, you will see that on the on the top layer it is mentioned as RST swim ground and 3.3 volt. So these are the pins which I have used to connect to the 3.3 volt the board side you can also notice that we have a 3.3 volt swim ground and a reset pin so i have connected these four pins to the board as shown in this circuit diagram so once that connection is done we can directly plug in our board into the pc so let me do that so once you have connected uh, in my case, the LED is already blinking because I have already uploaded the blink program on it. But uh, if it is a new board, uh, that won't be happening. Now, to check if the ST link is discovered pro properly, get into device manager. And unlike other programmers, you won't find it in the COM port, you will find it in the USB bus devices as you can see stm32 st link is discovered properly now go back to your Arduino IDE make sure under tools you have selected the proper board and another important thing is to select the correct programmer so the programmer should be st link v2 and the com port can be anything no problem with that so now let me upload the blink program and see if this is getting uploaded so you should see the 
interval of the blinking change after the uploading is done successfully right now it's compiling as you can see here so once the uploading is done you should notice that this led is blinking slower with an interval of one second Normally it doesn't take this much time once you have done your first compilation. So yes, now you can see that uh, the LED is blinking slower. Now another thing that you should know is that when you are working with Arduino IDE, the pin mapping will differ. So again, you can find this document in the description, but let me quickly open it to show you the pin mapping. So if we go down. So this is how you should uh, program your Arduino, sorry, program your STM8 with Arduino ID. So this is the pin mapping. So unlike your Arduino boards, we won't have D0, D1, A0 and A1 written on the board. So what you will have on the board is something like this. So if we can see it is written as D4, D5, D6, A1, A2. So these are not digital pin 4 and digital pin 5. If you want to know the digital pin values, you have to refer to this diagram. So for example, PB, PA3 means, uh, the PA3, the pin over here, means that it is the pin 3 of port A. But to address it from the Arduino side, you should actually call it as D2 or 2 like we normally do. So this is something which you have to remember while programming with the Arduino ID. And the another part is you won't find support for all the existing libraries. The, a board manager that we just saw as you know still under development so it supports only a limited number of programs thank you for watching bye bye